In this video, I will be disassembling this 2010 Mercedes-Benz C-Class halogen headlight. Here is the part number on the light. I will begin by removing the lens. I've disconnected the lens from the light. Here we can see that the outer bezel is connected to the front lens using a handful of torque screws, including the two upper reflectors. I will begin by removing the T20 screws holding on the front bezels. Next, I'm going to remove this bezel from this projector. I'm going to use a small flathead screwdriver and slide it between the chrome and the clear plastic lens. Once my screwdriver is between the chrome and the clear plastic, I'm going to gently pry it forward. While removing this chrome trim, I did break one off. You will need to be careful while removing it because these are easy to snap. But you can see that each one has, each one has a little finger that slides in and locks it into place. Behind the chrome trim piece is this plastic bezel. With the chrome trim, and the clear bezel removed, I now have access to the remaining T20 screws holding the front bezel in place. Here you can see that there are three T20 screws hidden behind the clear bezel that hold this front chrome bezel in place. Now I can access the third screw holding the outer turn signal reflector in place. At this point, there are three mounts holding on this projector bracket. There's one up here, one down here, and one over here. I'm going to start by going to the rear of the light and access the screws holding them in place through the low beam projector hole. I removed the screws holding on the upper and the lower outer mount. I cannot access the screw for the lower mount from the rear of the light. I'm going to grab a hold of this mount and try to pop it off of the third projector mount. At this point, we can take the two projector mounts that we unscrewed and pop them off. These are the two mounts that I unscrewed from the rear of the projector mount. I've popped them off of these mounting tabs. It, now I can use these and re-screw them onto the projector mount so that for reinstallation of the projector mount, all I simply need to do is push these holes back onto their mounts and they will snap back into place. The projector is held to the mount using three T20 torque screws.
At this point, all I need to do is go to the rear of the light and release the main wire harness connector. There is a tab on each side. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to release each tab. And then I will push the connector into the light. At this point, the light is fully disassembled. Here is the projector. It is the only real component from the headlight. Here we can see that the projector is pressed together and cannot be easily disassembled and reassembled. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.